Coach, congratulations. Welcome to UC Davis. Thank you. What have been your first impressions of the university, the department, the campus? Uh, UC Davis is just, it's such a beautiful campus and it's been so welcoming and so engaging and everyone I've met has been so kind and um, it just seems like such a wonderful environment to be a part of. How much did you know about the program coming in and what attracted you to the position in the first place? I think that this is a program that just, there's, there's so much upside, there's so much potential and I'm just really excited about the opportunity of taking the program to new heights and I think with the support from the administration and the staff, uh, we can achieve a lot here and I'm looking forward to getting started. You've been successful at, at every level that you've been at the last four years at San Francisco State, four straight winning seasons. Santa Rosa JC, um, St. Ignatius High School, the club teams. What's in the water? What's been the secret <laughs> to that success? Uh, I feel, you know, I just have a really strong passion for coaching and I love like the best part of my day is being on the field with my team. Um, and I think that that kind of energy and enthusiasm that I bring to the game, um, all my teams just really feel um, empowered and engaged and I know that they they leave practice feeling um, you know that they gave it their best and I think when you feel rewarded every time you step on the field that the sky's the limit. How has your coaching style or philosophy evolved with each one of those stops and what do you think you can take from those positions and apply it here to UC Davis? I think that there's you know every level is very different and there's different challenges and different um, exciting opportunities and kind of just incorporating everything that I've learned at each level in terms of either the demographics that I work with, academics, um, but just understanding kind of the holistic development of a student athlete is really important. Um, so take the best parts of every program, acknowledge where the obstacles are, and then incorporate it all moving forward. Um, you know, that's kind of what got me here and got me to um, such an amazing institution. And I'm excited to bring all my experiences, positive, negative, negative, indifferent, all of those things um, into, you know, this level and, you know, see what we can achieve. You're a Bay Area native, you played at Cal, you've coached in pretty much every corner of the region. How will those experiences and the connections that you've made over the year benefit in helping elevate this program? I feel like I've had really great mentorship in my, um, you know, my tutelage as a coach and I've got a lot of great coaches and people that I can rely on for information and feedback and advice and I feel really well connected and, you know, my network is fantastic but I think the most important thing is that I've had, um, you know, really great people to learn from and that are kind of in my corner. Um, so as much as I'm cheering for them, I feel like they're cheering for me and it's just kind of an exciting opportunity, I think, for Bay Area sports and for me to kind of give back to the area that's given so much to me. Other than meeting the team face to face for the first time, what are your first steps here on campus? I think just a lot of paperwork, you know, <laughs> and uh, kind of just learning the ins and outs of, you know, the admissions process. And for me, one of the most important things is making sure that I meet everybody that's involved in the department so that I can help them out as much as they're going to be helping me out. Um, and just feeling, you know, just kind of understanding the campus layout is really important and um, you know I obviously the most important thing for me is meeting the team and getting to know the girls and um, you know wanting to know what makes them successful or what they feel like they need to have success um, and then putting my own spin on that and how I think that they can accomplish their goals. Have you gotten used to riding a bike yet? I, I have a mint green beach cruiser that has been in the garage for four years now that I can't wait to unveil so I feel I feel prepared. Yeah. It's almost right at home. Yeah exactly. Um, coaches often say one of the toughest parts of being a first year head coach at a program is getting players to buy into your system and your terminology. Mm -hmm. How do you envision going about making that transition as smooth as possible and help instill that culture that will make this program successful? For me, I think that there's, um, you know, I want to understand what the traditions are that has made this program have success in the past. Um, I think that that's something I want. I want the women to feel empowered. I want them to, you know, feel like they have autonomy, um, but also, you know, lead them and guide them. And I think what's helped my previous programs have success. Um, but the main thing is understanding what is their passions. What are they like outside of um, the soccer field? You know, I think you have to coach everybody a little bit differently based on their personality, and then kind of find a cohesive. Um, you know, have a cohesive strategy when you're addressing the team as a whole. But for me, it's just acknowledging that they're all individuals and understanding them as people, um, which I think will help me understand them as players, which ultimately helps us achieve what we want. So, yeah. What do you look for most in a UC Davis student athlete? 
uh, effort and attitude. Um, I think just across the board at any level, I think that's important. Um, but UC Davis in particular, I know that I'm dealing with really intelligent players, intelligent people, um, people that are passionate and excited to be here and willing to work hard. So for me, it's kind of an all-encompassing thing, but a, a group of women that put each other first um, and hold each other accountable. In a perfect world, what does the future hold for UC Davis women's soccer? Do you have any goals immediately in mind, or do you expect those to develop as the summer goes on? Uh, I'd love to get one practice under my belt and see kind of what we're working with here. Um, but I think that, you know, when you're taking over a program, um, you know, you, you want to create an environment that's their own. It's not based on what has or hasn't happened before. Um, it's just taking a new group of women and putting them together. And, um, you know, there's obviously goals that I'd love to achieve. And, um, but I want them to be part of that process, you know, and where do they think they're at so I can understand what are the steps needed, you know, to take to make sure that we, we achieve what they want first and foremost. My last question for all the fans out there yeah. watching this, well, what can they expect out of a Tracy Ham coach at UC Davis Women's Soccer Program? Oh, great question. Um, I'm very demanding, but I'm very fun. Um, I love to have a good time, but they can definitely expect someone that's really passionate about the game, really passionate about coaching and you know, giving women new opportunities and making sure that they feel um, connected and that they leave with a really incredible student athlete experience.